Prediction Center is now in El Nino watch status. Meteorologist Alex O'Brien joins us now to explain when El Nino is expected to develop and how this ocean pattern really impacts our weather. Alex. Right, Allison. So it's now official. La Nina is over and the pendulum is anticipated to swing the other way. And El Nino is expected to develop in the eastern Pacific Ocean. So during El Nino, the water off the west coast of South America will warm up. That is forecast to take place as soon as this summer. There's a 60 percent probability of El Nino developing by late spring or early summer, and there's an over 80 percent prob probability that El Nino develops and persists into fall and winter of this year. Now, during an El Nino winter, the northern half of the U.S. and western Canada trend warmer than normal. The southern U.S. trends cooler than normal, and winter precipitation tends to be drier than normal in the north central and eastern U.S. The western and southern U.S. trends wetter than normal. So we usually look at winter trends during El Nina or La Nina because that's when they typically reach their peak strength. But Colorado, as per usual, is kind of stuck in no man's land. Now, interestingly, our region, southeastern Colorado, we see larger impacts from El Nino outside of the winter season. El Nino springs tend to be cooler and wetter than normal. The same trend appears for summer and fall. But winter doesn't have a good signal one way or the other. So El Nino is just one factor in the global weather patterns each year, and so the impacts aren't always noticeable, especially here in Colorado. But as the data suggests, we may be a bit cooler and wetter here in our region once El Nino develops.